The My Interceptor, let me show you its features. Hello and welcome to the Slingshot channel. Well, I've seen a lot of pistol crossbows recently, but this one that's just been sent to me, still a prototype, even though it's fully functional, made by Mai from Germany, actually you know, blew my socks off. <laughs> so I'm standing here barefoot and uh, I'm completely impressed by this thing. It's the latest generation pistol crossbow and I will explain to you why I love it so much now. You saw the first advantage, which is clearly the exchangeable magazine. As you see, it holds 18 rounds and um, you can very easily exchange it and insert it like so, just like in a machine gun, I guess, <laughs> in an AR-15. Um, and um, the advantage is that I don't really have to take this out of the line of fire to repeat, other than most break barrel, quote unquote, crossbows. Um, this is not necessary here because, see, the pistol grip with the trigger, everything, keeps at the same position. So I can cock this and repeat and shoot without even taking it out of the line of fire. And that is really unique for these break barrel uh, crossbows. One more advantage of the magazine coming from below is actually that it's very flat here. So this means that I don't really have like any kind of trap door to load in the arrows or so here. So this means I can really install huge scopes. I mean, this, this scope is original FX. It's, it's absolutely too big for the gun. But it kind of looks cool, doesn't it? And I can mount it. Of course, I can still mount like a red dot or a short scope. But I think this looks just more rad. And it is possible. Now you can see that this is an AR-15 stock that I have here. You can exchange it against anyone that you like. And, but you see it's a little bit funny because it's a low position. And well, that's why be, and because the scope here is so low. So if that would go straight, then I would not be possibly be able to get my eye behind the, uh, the scope. So this is really the reason why this needs to be here and not up here. In an AR-15 there's no choice because, as you probably know, there is a spring running through this here in AR-15 that you need for the action. So, of course, this is not the case here with this crossbow. So this next advantage has to do with the magazine itself because it's actually great for loading but also for precision. First of all, loading works just like on a firearm with a, with a magazine. You just put the arrow in here, you push down and then it's in. And then you can do the next one, the next one, the next one. But you see that the, the general issue with precision with these repeating pistol crossbows is always that there is a spring that presses down on the stack of arrows in the magazine. And that spring, of course, is more tightly wound if the magazine is full and it's almost empty, then there's almost no more tension. This, and of course, this tension is passed through to the lowest bolt in the, in the chamber, in the, in the roof. And of course, it has to overcome that friction through to the pressure from above. So this means that on a full magazine, the speed of the bolt is actually slower than on a magazine that's almost empty, just because the spring is weaker. And this is the general problem that Mai has solved by using some kind of a dispenser method in this here. Now you can see that there are like sliders here on the side and they go a little bit sideways. I'm not sure if you can see this well, right? And what happens is that when you cock the, uh, the crossbow, the loading levers automatically press down on both of them, dispensing exactly one arrow. <laughs> and then this arrow is in this groove here. It doesn't even touch the arrows below. So this means that the friction on the bolt in the groove is always the same, no matter if there's 18 arrows in the magazine or if this is the last one. So this is very important for accuracy. So loading the magazine is really an experience in itself because it works just like on a firearm. You just put this in here, like a round in the firearm, press down and in it goes. I think this is one of the magic moments of this crossbow, would you not agree? So, and of course you can also load the other bolts that fit in these Cobra pistols. So like a, a hunting broadhead here, oops, that one dropped down. <laughs> or the Saxon war bolt, that's also a great and very solid arrow. And you can simply mix them in the magazine, they all fit, no problem. Yeah, in terms of accuracy, of course, you cannot expect too much from a pistol crossbow. That's why this scope is ridiculous on it. <laughs> because of the short bolts, accuracy is not really super great. These are not sniper crossbows. But I must say that this is one of the most accurate pistol crossbows I've ever seen, probably because of this uh, groove solution here. And uh, I've put two air balloons over there 
at uh, 25 meters distance and that's maybe 28 yards or something. And let me try to hit it and let's see if the weapon is accurate enough for it. Wow! <laughs> okay, I missed two times and I cut those out. My fault. <laughs> I'm just an awful cheater, am I not? Okay, now I will shoot at a high speed. I will try to empty this 18 round magazine with the mixed arrows in there as quick as I can. And I will like more or less shoot from the hip and shoot into the target mat without aiming. Uh, just to find out how quick it is. Now I have to say that this is a throwing arm from the Redback crossbow pistol. Um, I have to say that this is like uh, much heavier than the original Cobra one, which only has about 50 uh, pounds measured and this has 80 pounds. Now in the final version as a commercial product, there will be a completely different throwing arm made by the same company that also makes the Venom crossbow limbs for the adder, the tuning ones. Uh, and they have a technique where they put a carbon fiber layer in the middle between the fiberglass layers, giving it much more efficiency and, uh, and it's also more robust. Um, in any case, um, so this is like still not the easiest to pull, but let me see what I can do. Okay. And 18. <laughs> that was quick, wasn't it? I mean, for a 80 pound bow, some questions and answers. Question number one, when is this going to come out? <laughs> well, this is still a prototype and some details will change, like the magazine won't have this thing here. And also it won't be all made from metal because that's way too heavy. It, there will be large parts of this will be, um, will be injection molded uh, plastic, high quality, of course. Um, and also some design, ch uh, design changes. Here is uh, the latest renderings that I got freshly from May this morning. Uh, so it's going to look really, really cool, I think. <laughs> and it's going to hit the stores. The plan is that it's going to hit the stores this summer. So in the summer, maybe late summer of 2023, it will come out. And so question number two is always, how much is it going to cost? Well, we don't know this yet. Um, I'm probably going to get the first estimations from my later today. And if it arrives early enough, then I will post the uh, recommended retail price target. It's not a promise, it's just a target here. If there's nothing here, then uh, check out the Facebook group where I'm posting updates very frequently. But we will try to keep it within the range of pistol crossbows uh, that are on the market, like the competition. The thing that we don't want to do is we just don't want to put out a half-finished crossbow and then asking lots of money for the upgrades that you need, like tuning, triggers and whatever. So this is going to come freshly out of the box, ready for shooting. Well, the third question is always, how can you keep the trigger where it is so you don't have to change your grip, whereas you, you, you clap down the rest of the crossbow? Because that's not possible with the Vlad, that's not possible with the Stinger, with none of the products on, uh, on the market. Well, the secret is, let me bring this down for you, so here. The secret is that this here isn't really the trigger. It's just a lever that presses on the real trigger. And the real trigger is, is this roller here. See, is this a roller? So it has little friction, not really serious friction in it. And therefore, this trigger actually presses the real trigger. And that's why it can stay where it is. Clever, right? Okay. <laughs> Next question, more Picatinny rails. Well, we have Picatinny rails here and we have one here, of course. But there will also be sideways Picatinny rails in the final product so that you can uh, attach whatever you want to attach. I don't know where it's legal, maybe a laser and a light or whatever, or a bayonet. I don't know, a flamethrower. <laughs> so question number five, uh, my, what kind of a company is that? Are they are newcomers, are they, do they have any kind of experience? Well, it's a really old uh, business. It's actually a family owned business and they are in Upper Franco Franconia in a small village, not so far from Coburg. Um, and I visited them there and they visited me here a few times. Um, they are very experienced in making uh, office chairs so uh, and also for industrial purposes. 
Now, this seems far away from a crossbow, but it really isn't, because believe me, a, a, an office chair is something that has to be really adjustable, so it's highly mechanical, but it also has to endure a lot of stress. I mean, there's really heavy people going into an office every day, like I used to for most of my life. And uh, believe me, I'm not the heaviest one that uh, needs a solid office chair. There are far heavier people than me. <laughs> and, and, and it has to endure this for like 20 years or something. It's also a combination of plastics and, uh, and steel, just like a crossbow, and metal, like aluminum, so just like a crossbow. Plus also, these guys are just like us, they love these things, and therefore that's half of the experience you need. Question number six, where will you be able to buy it? Only from Gogun. So you can buy this from Gogun.de in Germany, uh, Gogun UK in the UK, and Gogun.co in uh, North America. <laughs> so, so it's very simple. This is an exclusive product that you won't be able to buy in any other stores, just the stores that have a contract with us and directly online from our web stores. So that's it for today with the My Interceptor. <laughs> I hope you like this. Thanks and bye-bye. <laughs>